here and it's been about three weeks since we got the ducks. This is week number four on creating a video about the ducks and they've reached a point where we need to expand their pen again and we need to clean out the litter underneath them. It's probably about six inches thick at least and smells quite strong when we come in here to take care of them so we're going to kind of kill two birds with one stone, clean up and make it bigger all at the same time. So thanks for following along on the uh, duck adventure that we're having here. It's gone real well so far and we're, we're, we're glad you're sharing it with us. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out how to get without killing them or something. And we've got to get where we can get down flat on the plastic and scoop out. We can't work this way or we'll stab holes in the plastic. I guess the way it's set up here, the only thing to do is to just scoop it out and try to scoot the ducks over out of the way as we go. And then we can get it unscrewed and pulled up and moved out of the way so we can clear the rest of it and then put it back. Last time we, we cleared a, a small area mm -hmm. and the ducks just moved around. That's stirring up a lot of aroma. But it won't work. I think the ducks think we're disrupting them a little bit. But we're making their lives better. We've got about half of it cleaned out, and we were keeping them up high on the, like, the ledge up there, but all of a sudden they decided to come down here. I put some sawdust down to soak up some wetness, and I think they're trying to come down here, so we're putting some sawdust all over it and going to let them, encourage them to come down so we can get that other half cleaned out. I said this was about six inches, but I think it's more than six inches thick. Maybe like seven or eight inches. Next step, uh, I think this wood frame has lived out its usefulness. We're going to pull it up and then enlarge the pin a bit more. Just to get it loose here and then pick it up. So where are you taking this? I'm going to take it over to our compost pile and let it set for a year and then we'll use the compost. we got this little small concrete slab over here that we poured to make a compost pile. And we don't claim to be very good at tending our compost pile, but here comes some more material for it. There was already some stuff piled here. I guess some old, I can't even remember what, but well, onion skins and stuff like that. But it's hard to believe that this much stuff came out of that little circle of where the ducks were, but we'd built it up fairly thick and it's well on the way to composting because it's already quite warm and wet. So I think it'll break down really fast. I think maybe we should expand that way, and maybe this way and that way. 
but not this way, so that we have a yeah. path to walk but, around. But I can only come this way back this way. Okay. Well, we can come this way. Well, we can go this 14 way. inches or so. So. I would say that's probably plenty. We'll finish them out there, don't you think? I think it will, yeah. Because we just had a lot of space. I think you want that towing from this way inside. You don't want a screw sticking outside. Somebody's going to get hurt. I think we've increased it by several square feet, maybe four to six, I can't judge. We're going to make it perfectly round, hopefully, and put more sawdust in and then more straw on top to make, make them have more space. Since they're three weeks old, it's time for the temperature to go down to 75 degrees. Uh, that's a little bit tricky because some nights are colder than others. Nighttime's our biggest enemy, of course. And uh, like last this morning, this morning it was uh, 60 degrees when when morning came. In the morning, it's supposed to be 23 degrees. So we've got to pay close attention to the weather. I think one of the keys is, especially by the time they're this large, is to provide zones where if they're cooler they can go to the heat and if they're hotter they can go away from the heat. Whenever they're a little bitty you have to be more careful with that and pay closer attention because they're not as smart about getting to the heat or and they can get away from it and freeze to death. But now they're a little better. Another thing that happens if they're too chilly and don't have enough heat to get to is they'll pile up on each other and somebody will get smothered. So here's the, the runt and one of the biggest ones. You can see there's such a huge difference in size. I don't know why this one has failed to thrive, but it seems to have. It keeps living, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's... If it hangs in there, maybe it'll make it. But I don't expect much out of something like that. But you can see it running away there, and it's so much smaller than everybody else. I still don't think they have the memo. They seem to kind of like getting that straw dropped on top of them. Gives them a little bit of entertainment. <laughs> it's pretty hard to believe how much they've grown in the three weeks that we've had them. I think they've done real well. At this point, I'll tell you that I think we've lost nine of them. Uh, and most of that was within the first week to 10 days. I think that, you know, that's plenty high. I'm glad it's not any higher, but I don't think it's too much higher than should be expected. Looks like all that uh, exercise we gave them made them thirsty. So we got the water back in there. We've got the feeders back in there. The ducks seem to be spread out nicely, and that makes me feel good because I feel like they're happy that they've got more room. They were starting to get fairly crowded in there, and I don't think that's a good way to have them for very long. So we've done a good thing for them this week again.